All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Thursday, August 9th, 2018. All right, so today we have the moon in Gemini, as was the case yesterday. So likely themes still about maybe uh, the importance of communication, uh, sharing, exchanging, and on a more maybe personal level, uh, learning, curiosity, and getting into the practical aspects of ourself. So uh, the later part of the day, the moon will be shifting into Cancer, so we may notice a shift um, going into tomorrow uh, regarding more of the emotional aspects of life and maybe reflecting on the past and getting in touch with our inner guidance. Um, but today, we are likely easing up off of some maybe uh, scattered thinking if you were feeling that yesterday or maybe a lot of passion behind our ideas or communication or energy. We have that short circuit kind of energy perhaps. That's easing up with Mercury um, leaving the conjunction with the sun. But today, uh, the aspect we have is that Venus is going to be squaring up to Saturn. So maybe some seriousness uh, coming in in terms of our perspective of relationships and the importance of bringing in that responsible and mature uh, perspective on those relationships as well as the things we value in life, such as our resources. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. So uh, the most important thing we have is that we are gearing up for a new moon. You know, in a weekly sense, the most important thing here is a new moon on Saturday. So as we approach uh, the new moon, we are certainly in the ending phase of the current lunar cycle at this time. So it is good to be doing some clearing, maybe getting some of that rest and relaxation, um, getting into our meditative side, you know, just creating a bit of space right now. And maybe even literally letting things go or clearing things externally because that can sometimes be the case. But we're sort of clearing to make space for what will be new beginnings uh, subtly around the corner um, Saturday onward. All right. And the new moon will be in Leo. So I will make a video on that tomorrow. Uh, so this will be a new beginning involving our self-expression. And ultimately, what gives us joy in life, right? What gives us joy, passion, right? This, uh, what sparks the inner flame? These types of things will be the cultivation of the new beginning. So again, this channel is using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. Uh, you will notice some of the signs are different um, in terms of what I'm mentioning from mainstream astrology. So if you are new to the channel, do check out that link down below. So today we do have the moon finishing Gemini. So there is this um, theme more than likely today involving uh, synergy which is what Gemini essentially represents. This can be synergy in terms of relationships, like the importance of communication, give and take, curiosity, willingness to learn and share with others. And then also just personally as well, maybe picking up that book, doing some writing, or getting into our practical um, side of ourselves. So we could be wanting this emotionally, which is the moon, but more than likely noticing themes around this here today. So as we get into uh, the very later part of today, but mostly tomorrow, the moon will shift into emotional cancer. So this will be getting in touch with the emotional side of things more than likely, maybe the importance of em emotional security, cultivating our private life, our personal life, um, listening to our inner guidance, our feelings, our soul, this type of stuff as we shift into the later part. All right, but today in terms of the aspects, we do have uh, Mercury easing up off of that conjunction with the sun we had yesterday. It's still very much in orb. This is that kind of energy where the, you know, the sun, that fierce energy, even the passion, right, involved with our communication or our thinking or our minds. So it can sometimes be a bit too much depending on our personal chart, how we approach it, but it can sometimes feel like a bit of that short circuit energy where it's the dominant energy is the fire or the ener energy itself, and that can sort of drown out the mind and the thinking. So it could lead to scattered thinking, you know, this type of stuff. So, or a lot of passion behind what we're thinking about. So that takes the dominant side. So if anything like that you're feeling yesterday, this is easing up today, and it makes it a great day for integrating any new insights that maybe you gained because the sun and Mercury together like this can give us 
uh, what you might consider spiritual insight, particularly emphasis on spirit here, on the fire, right? What gives us that passion, the sun, especially with this conjunction in Leo, right? What is it that gives us passion, enjoyment, excitement, right? Maybe some of those things, any insights you may have had, really good day for integrating some of that awareness, okay? So along with that, Venus is going to be squaring up to Saturn as we get into tomorrow, as we approach the new moon in this ending phase of the cycle. And with this particular aspect, uh, there could be a bit of seriousness involved with our values and relationships, right? We're probably just collectively seeing things a little bit more seriously with Saturn, which can be a bit detached, perhaps seeing things a bit coldly or in a very realistic way. So it's important to see things realistically at this time, certainly when it comes to our relationships and when it comes to our values and things on a material level like finances or resources. Certainly good to have that. Uh, but being aware and conscious of the self, if it ever becomes too much, because sometimes, just like any square, there can be an over or under extreme with the planet. And an over extreme of Saturn can be sometimes a little bit too you know, uh, serious about or too realistic about it to where it becomes dense or heavy. But likewise, if there's not enough Saturn, if there isn't enough maybe responsibility or maybe maturity on our part involving relationships or values or finances, really good to implement some of that. All right, see the long-term perspective and the patient perspective when it comes to the people and things that we value in life. All right. So that's the most important stuff, uh, easing up off of that kind of fiery energy behind the communication that kind of drowns that out of the mind. So a little bit of clarity maybe today with the mind and that sort of thing. It's an excellent day for all things involving, you know, uh, learning, curiosity, right? Communication, being flexible with all that. Of course, Mercury is still retrograde. So we still want to be adaptive with information and making plans because new information is coming to light. And so we want to have a plan A, B, C, and D as the information changes and information comes in. If there has been any insight since yesterday, great day for implementing that. And Venus squaring up to Saturn, good day for taking the slow, steady, long-term approach, responsible approach to our values and relationships. All right. So everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow for the new moon forecast. Take care.